Hey everyone, this is VJLZ32 and this is a Smoke and Mirrors Collector Set. And you can see the box is pretty nice, it says Smoke and Mirrors in this nice foil and it's got this nice smoky artwork on it, which goes around to the sides as well. And then we got this Dan and Dave well, a Smoke and Mirror logo, if you will, on the sides. Again, a nice foil. Nothing on the bottom. And this is probably one of the best parts about the whole thing. Inside you do get this, I guess it's a uh, thing that says it's uh, authentic. And it's number 302 out of 10,000. And then you get the decks, which I'll look at, I'll try to look at quickly. There's not much to them. front of the box is basically what we've all come to know. It says smoke, uh, it says playing cards and it's got the logo with the DD in the center. Just like all the other ones. On the sides it says distributed by the D&D playing card company and it also says Dan and Dave Illustrated by C. Scott, Cy Scott, however you pronounce that at the top. Uh, it says smoke and mirrors sm smoke and. But anyway, this one it says smoke, this one says. It basically says smoke and mirror, a B1, I guess, or whatever, smoke and mirror. The other ones, well, they say other stuff on them. Obviously, this one says. The eco. Can't really see it though because it's a seal. This one says denim on it. And my freaking battery's dying. <laughs> Can you believe that? This one says Ruse, which is French for red. It's the first time I've heard it called the Ruse. And this one says carbon on it. Which, ever since the V6 came out, had been what everyone thought it would be called. These two represent the first. Three decks in this series, Smoke and Mirrors, as you can see there's a black one and a white one. These ones do have a nice gold, uh, sorry, a nice silver foil seal with the DD logo on it. It's pretty nice. And there's some nice embossing and artwork on the flap. And I should say that everything is embossed on the boxes, basically. Well, the logo here on the back, the whole front, some of the sides, and this flap and inside it's nice and silver just like a mirror because it is the mirror inside each deck you do get these two cards that say well they have the DD logo on them I should mention that they're not white they're actually kind of like an off-white which is a little bit different there they look like the vintage plaids in color basically the most disappointing part is that they all got standard faces. What the hell is that all about, Dan and Dave? I mean, all the other Smoke and Mirror decks had some nice custom but simple faces. These, all these decks have standard faces. Extremely disappointing, in my opinion. And then you do get the Smoke and Mirror Jokers, two of those. And the Ace of Spades, which says... The D and D playing card company at the bottom, and it's got that nice spade pip, basically like the original, and your second Joker. I'm not really sure what these are all about. I would have preferred a double back or a blank card or something like that instead of some kind of stupid reminder of who made the deck. <laughs> I guess it could be used as like Jokers or something, but whatever. And then your back design. Looks like this. It has, you know, black borders on it or no borders. But that's fine. It's just like the originals. The white one actually has white inside. Like smoke. Everything else is identical. Except for the backs. Which are white instead of black. Ah, uh, crap. I hear an alarm ringing. Hang on.
Sorry about that. It's time to turn off the oven. <laughs> so that's that. Then we get to this one, which is supposed to be like the V4. These ones, the Eco Denim and the Ruse actually have white seals on them instead of silver. And the inside of the box matches the outside of the box in the color, as you can see. One thing you'll notice, and these ones, is the cards actually have metallic inks on them and they match these match the color of the box this one they have green pips instead of red and nice metallic inks and the court cards metallic inks and a lot of green and black For the black cards they are standard jokers are in the green color and I think the ace has some hint of green on it as well, and metallic inks for sure. Definitely green and metallic. And then the black court cards is like that. Not bad, but again, I would have preferred the original artwork on the court cards. And then your back design, kind of like the original, although I think this is a different size. I'm not entirely sure. It just looks wider to me or something. Overall, they handle really nice. And these ones actually do appear to have a white, yes. These ones, as you can see, this one is darker. In the smoke and mirrors, it's darker. It's like a smoky color. These ones are actually white. And I also notice is the box of this one has the same color as well. It's a darker color. So it's not exactly white. So that's that one. Then was the denim. Again, nice metallic inks and everything. The two ad cards, I guess. They got some nice blue on the court cards. I like that, and it's really shiny. And nice blue pips instead of red, and everything else is basically what we just seen blue on those jokers and the ace of spades is in here somewhere or is it there it is and it has a blue on it it's pretty nice i think the original one had some blue on the ace but i don't quite remember and then and i should say that the inside is blue and then there is the ruse and the inside is this nice dark reddish color, almost a wine color. You do get red ad cards. Court cards are fairly standard. Some nice dark reds on them though. And you do get red cards obviously. The Jokers have a darker red than the other cards though. For whatever reason. They just went with standard red instead of the darker red like they should have. That's a little bit disappointing. And then the court cards are all fairly standard color and everything so this one is the most standard out of all of them and I can't find the Ace of Spades again but there it is and the Ace of Spades has that nice red color in it as well this one out of all of them has the most standard color on the court cards and on the number cards I don't know why they didn't customize it like the other ones and make it a, a nice metallic ink and make it a darker red like the box that one is just really disappointing out of all of them I apologize if it seems like I'm rushing it's just that my battery is gonna die <laughs> I don't want to do this video before it does so this is the V7 the, the only way you can get it is by buying this collector set or by getting an uncut seat or by getting an uncut seat of the carbon like I was saying unfortunately it is sold out of those uncut seats and you can see it's got a lot of black and silver or gray to it. Here you can kind of see the back design. It does actually have a silver foil seal on it. And it's black on the inside. It's kind of cool. For the ad cards, they have a silvery color to them. The court cards have a lot of black and silver, which is kind of cool. Jokers have silver. Red cards are silver, of course. Black cards are black. The 
ace of spades, of course, silver. And that's basically that. Oh, and the back design, you might want to see that. Yay. It looks basically nothing like the card that came in the V6. Last year when they released the V6, there was a black card. And everyone thought that was going to be the next deck. It was. It was the carbon deck, but I don't remember it being like this. It was dark. It was a black card. This one is kind of a silver card. Still kind of interesting, but not as nice. Alright, overall, I'm pretty disappointed in the whole set because they gave us fairly standard, or absolutely standard, court cards. They did throw in some metallic inks. Also, the original Smoke and Mirror, the uh, Smoke and Mirror decks there, the black one and the white one, don't even have white faces. They have faces that are the same color, or about the same color as the vintage plaid decks which I really don't understand I don't understand why they went with standard court cards as opposed to what they had in the original decks which was a nice simplified court card that just really disappoints me I do like the metallic inks I am dumbfounded as to why they did not put metallic inks in this deck and why they did not use the red color of pips for the red. Instead, they just went absolutely standard and everything. And then I don't really know the meaning of those two D and D cards. I don't know if they're supposed to be just add cards or what. Personally, I think that they are. These two cards are a waste of space. They should have had maybe one add card and a double backer, or a blank card and a double backer instead of this. I mean, I guess if I wanted to, I could just tape them together or glue them together and there's my double backer but I'd prefer an actual double backer instead of a homemade one uh, overall as far as the faces are concerned I'd have to give it only like a 3 out of 5 just because they're very standard the metallic inks help a little bit except for the V6 the ruse other than that they're fairly standard and disappointing for the backs Holy crap, I just saw the cards all over the place. <laughs> Why does this always happen to me? Alright, for the backs of the cards, uh, they're just what we're used to. Nothing new or anything like that. And I'll give them a 3 out of 5. Well, a 3.5 out of 5. You know, there's nothing new about them. Nothing different, nothing special. The boxes are kind of nice, especially with the foil on them and everything. But, again, nothing too different. Uh, for the handling, what I got left here of cards, they handle pretty good, as you would expect from Dan and Dave. Better than the last decks they released, uh, the Ace Fulton decks were horrible. So that's that, so the handling's pretty good, I'll probably get a handling of 4 out of 5. I'm not sure what kind of finisher stock they use, but it's pretty good. And overall, I'd probably give the deck a three and a half out of five, just because very much to them, and I'm really disappointed with the lack of customization on the court cards and everything else. I'm also disappointed by the fact that they're selling these in a set for 85 bucks plus shipping. Fortunately, since I'm a member, I was able to get some discounts. But it's still kind of ridiculous. A lot of people would love to get the V7 deck for the collection or whatever, but they can't or don't want to spend $85 for this whole set. I also think it's pretty disappointing that the V7 does not have faces like the other smoke and mirror decks. Instead, we get this. And I'm also a little bit surprised that this is what they claim is what they would have done with the smoke and mirrors originally I guess if they had done them again because it's kind of disappointing and it lacks customization on the court cards I like the colors I like the metallic inks and everything but I would have stuck with the same court cards that they had before because they were nice simple somewhat elegant and definitely not standard 
And quite frankly, I think Dan and Dave screwed themselves over big time because they got 10,000 of these printed and no one's buying because they're $85. Most people only care about getting the V7. They don't want to get all these decks that they already have again, especially since they are nothing special, in my opinion. They lack in certain areas. I mean, they're kind of nice. I like the, I like the metallic inks and everything. I dislike this one because it has no metallic ink and has the wrong color red, like I mentioned before. But other than that, you know, a lot of people already have these. They don't want to get them again, especially since there's nothing too special about them. So overall, it's I find it disappointing. I'm starting to like them a little bit more just because of the metallic inks. But at the same time, I'm not sure if it's really worth $85 unless you are a real avid collector of cards and really want them in your collection. Now I got all of these, but I still won't have the V2 smoking mirrors, unfortunately. Because I think I got screwed over in a trade. <laughs> but overall, 